When you spot a demand or supply zone, there are two key factors to consider. Time spent in the zone and the size of the candles within the zone. These factors indicate the strength of the zone and the involvement of financial institutions. For a demand zone to be robust, the market should move swiftly out of the zone, indicating significant institutional activity. Additionally, the candles within the zone should be large, suggesting substantial investments. Let's take a look at a trade example to understand this better. In this chart, you can see that the market didn't spend much time in the demand zone, and the upward move was rapid and strong, and the candle size was considerable. These characteristics make this a valid demand zone for trading. To trade this setup, draw the demand zone on the doji candle, which acts as the basing candle. Place a limit order at the proximal line, set your stop loss below the distal line, and aim for the resistance level as your target. As you can observe, the market moved in our favor, hitting our target. It's essential to identify such strong demand or supply zones to increase the probability of successful trades. If you want to learn more, download our ebook, the link is in the bio.